Let's get to this topic that I, um, I found very interesting yesterday evening into uh, this morning. Uh, remember the lady with the blue eyes, Amy yeah. Laurie? Yeah. Yeah. So she got plenty of attention and apparently a lot of photographers want to get her on the, you know, on the other side of their cameras. There is a Nigerian actor, actress, um, Sylvia Oluchi, who has come out with a, um, a suggestion, let me say. Okay. And um, I would like to read some of what she said. Uh, so that you can absolutely get what I mean. She said the culture of photographers, uh, photographers issuing out fame as a compensation for injustice and poverty is intrinsically flawed. Fame is not a reward. Fame is actually endured. In exchange for living your dreams, celebrities will tell you that their utopia is, um, is, is to keep that success and lose the fame. Mm. What she's arguing is that these guys actually are not ready for that kind of attention that we are thrusting them into. Mm. She gave the example of Oluchi the Breadseller. Mm and how the fame actually was adverse to her life. And actual fact, she actually did confess that the fame wasn't very, wasn't very advantageous to her. Mm -hmm. I've always had this at the back of my mind when these things come up. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see her statement on, on, on your screens right now, uh, Sylvia Oluchi's statement. Um, and this has always been my thought. I don't know what, what, what other people I've never wanted to voice it out mm -hmm. before. People thought that thinks, the fame was a disadvantage. It right? is a disadvantage. Yeah. They're not ready for all of that. They don't have the mechanism to cope with the attention or mm -hmm. even um, what they're going to use all that. Okay, that let's read a for. statement. Mm -hmm. um, she said, I recall the bread seller who T.Y. Bello made famous. Illiteracy and a naivety meant she couldn't uh, convert the sudden fame mm. to anything substantial. And there's always someone lurking to take advantage, I guess. That's what she meant before that one. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so um, I'll say to each his own. Mm. However, I'm of the opinion that few people are ever ready for fame, really. Mm. It's um, sometimes people get thrust into the limelight. I would say the, the main problem is how that limelight is being managed for the person. Mm -hmm. So you bring someone into, you know, into fame like that. Yeah. There might be people looking for those with unique features, features. for photography. Mm -hmm. Somebody might decide to send, you know, give, give the children an education. Yeah. So mm. they grow up to be like maybe supermodels because mm -hmm. of their unique features. I feel these things give you an opportunity to be out there. Okay. Let people know you exist. Mm -hmm. It is how it is managed in most cases. Say, say this um, bread seller issue, for mm -hmm. example. There were issues between she and her husband. Yeah. Um, they were together, yeah. but the whole thing put them apart. Collapsed, now, yeah. in that kind of situation, a counselor should have been gotten for them. Whose responsibility is it, though, to get them a counselor? You, do you know something? Because if I brought you into fame, should I now be pursuing you every aspect of your life? Okay, take that, counselor. That is, that okay, is take where the issue okay, is. Exactly. Mm. People always believe that the person who brought you to fame should, should. do everything. It's yeah. not.